scorching heat of the African savanna, life and death hung in the balance. The pride of lions fought fiercely for their territories and resources, their lives defined by their rivalries and hatred for each other. Between these territories was a river which acted as a border and often swarmed with crocodiles that can be seen lurking in the murky waters of the Mara River. Simba, a young promising lion on the shadow of his father Terza, now aging, is on the verge of taking the throne from his father, had been taught from a young age to hate all those outside his own pride to keep the pride from thriving on the plains of HTE Savannah. He had grown up with a deep sense of loyalty to his family and his pride, and he would do anything to protect them. Nala, on the other hand, was a fierce and independent lioness from a rival pride on the other side of the Mara River bank. She too had been taught to hate those outside of her pride, but as she roamed the savanna, she found herself drawn to gaze over the banks of the Mara River into Simba's territory. As the sun began to set on the savanna, Simba sat atop a rocky outcrop, surveying his domain. His amber eyes scanned the vast expanse of grassland, searching for prey to satiate his hunger. As he looked across the river, his gaze settled on a beautiful lioness who will later on be known as Nala who was on the opposite side of the bank. She was a beauty, with sleek golden fur and piercing green eyes that seemed to glint in the fading light. The lion felt a stirring within him, a primal instinct that drew him towards her. He watched her as she padded along the riverbank, her movements graceful and fluid. Simba knew that he had to approach her carefully, for he did not want to scare her off. He stood up and began to walk down the rocky slope towards the water, his muscles rippling with every step. As he reached the edge of the river, he paused and looked across to the lioness. But their reunion was not without danger. The river that separated them was infested with deadly crocodiles, making any attempt to cross it a risky endeavor. He looked back at Nala, and he saw the strength and resilience in her gaze. He saw the fire that burned within her, the same fire that burned within him. In that moment, Simba knew that he had to take a chance. He had to cross the river and be with Nala, no matter what the consequences might be. In that moment, Simba knew that he had to take a chance. He had to cross the river and be with Nala, no matter what the consequences might be. Simba knew that he had to find a way to be with Nala, but the risk of death was ever-present. She had also stopped and was watching him intently. The lion felt a surge of excitement as he began to wade through the shallow water towards her. He could feel his heart beating faster, his senses heightened by the anticipation of what was to come. As he neared the opposite bank, the lioness began to walk towards him, her eyes fixed on him. The lion felt a surge of confidence and strode towards her, his mane flowing behind him in the breeze. They met in the middle of the river, their eyes locked in a fierce gaze. For a few moments, they stood there, sizing each other up. Then, as if by mutual agreement, they began to circle each other, their bodies close together. The lion felt a thrill of excitement as he felt her warm breath on his face, and he nuzzled her gently with his nose. As the day began to wind down on the savanna, the lion and lioness lay together, their bodies entwined in a tender embrace. They had found each other, and they knew that they were meant to be together. For in the wilds of Africa, where life was harsh and unpredictable, they had found a love that was strong and true. Despite the danger, Simba was willing to risk everything for Nala. He knew that their love was worth the danger, and he vowed to find a way to be with her, no matter what the cost.